Greetings to all of you who are here today and those joining us virtually. I am Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod, and I have served as the president and CEO of the Urban League of Northwest Indiana for the past 12 years. And I am still excited as the day I walked into the office. Today I want to share some of our organization's impact in the community. The Urban League provides services in the areas of education, financial stability, and diversity and inclusion awareness. In the areas of education, we have scholarships that are offered to graduating high school seniors in Porter and LaPorte County. Here, the scholarship fair will be hosted over at IUN University in Savannah Hall, and that's on October 18th, 2022, from 9 a.m. to 12. Now, this is important because students will be admitted on the spot, many of them, and some of them will receive full-ride scholarships as well as partial scholarships. So if you have a child, a cousin, whoever, and they're graduating in the upcoming year, bring them over to this scholarship fair because we're offering a lot of money. We'll have about 60 or 70 colleges and universities from all over the country that will be there. The other, well, let me just say this. Last year, we offered $4.2 million. So that just gives you an idea of how much money was offered to students. In the area of financial stability, we have what we call as our volunteer income tax assistance. It's called VITA. If you make less than $58,000 a year, we will do your taxes free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. We will do them free so that you won't have to give your money to Uncle Sam or Quickie Sam or whoever. Come to our office. Call us at 887-9621 by appointment only and we will take care of you. The other thing I'd like to uh, recognize and just highlight is our diversity, equity, and inclusion opportunities. The Urban League has a diversity awards luncheon that's coming up October 19th. This is where we highlight and recognize those businesses and organizations that promote and increase diversity in the workplace, in the community and in leadership. We also host a symposium where people can come and have an in-depth conversation about things, topics like stereotyping, implicit bias, racism. We create a safe space so that you can have conversations to determine and figure out how you can move closer and how we can become more unified. Last but not least, I want to acknowledge the opportunities that we've had over the past couple of years to provide rental assistance and in some cases uh, gift food cards for those needy families who were dealing with the pandemic, the COVID pandemic shutdown. We were able to do that because we had some definitely uh, good organizations that gave to us and we had some individuals throughout our community that donated money to the Urban League. So I want to especially let you know that the Urban League is doing a whole lot from scholarships to diversity and inclusion to VITA, taxes. We're just doing a whole lot here and sometimes you don't know that and we represent Lake Porter and LaPorte County. So whether you live in Maryville, Crown Point, Michigan City, Valparaiso, East Chicago, that's almost a dance, right? Griffith, wherever you live, we serve you. And right now, I just want you to know that we are excited because we are about to receive a gift. This is a donation that's coming from Ring. Ring is that doorbell that when someone comes to your door, you can see them, you can hear them, you can possibly talk back and forth with them. But this is going to be a very important safety mechanism that our senior citizens, if you're 55 and older, did I raise my hand? But anyway, if you're over 55, you are eligible for this ring. I would like to just acknowledge one person that's in the room, definitely, and that is my board uh, vice chair, uh, Chancellor Louis Gonzalez. Thank you so much for leaving Ivy Tech and running down here to be a part of, of this presentation. So without further ado, I would like to call 
Marcella Gregory to the podium. Marcella is coming up and she's going to talk to us because she received an early install. She has her ring already. So let's hear her testimony. Come on up, Marcella. Thank you for inviting me today. You're welcome. And I'm so pleased to be here and be a part of this. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Marcella Gregory, as she stated, and I am the president of the Pottawatomie Trail Block Club located in the Gary, Indiana area. I'm excited to be a part of this early, as being an early recipient of the Green Doorbell. Um, I live in a single family home, and um, as, as living there, I sometimes am feeling uh, insecure about my safety at the home. So um, I just recently got this ring, and it has been a blessing to me. I am able to see when someone comes to the door when a package is delivered. And it just gives me this added security to know that I'm being covered. So I thank you for the gift that you're giving to our community as well. Um, I am also thankful to be able to share this initiative with others. And uh, as I stated, thank you that the Urban League has allowed me to do so. Um, I wanted to thank the Urban League for all that you do in the community and making this a great opportunity for all the seniors, even though I didn't want to be claimed a senior, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, I, I support your efforts here, and thank you for allowing me to be this, this uh, first recipient. Yes. And um, I am also going to take the time to spread this information out to others in the community, because that's what I do. I try to get others to share um, in resources and pulling people together. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Dr. McLeod. Um, and thank you, Senator Melton, uh, if you can hear me. Uh, and the Urban League. Um, it's an honor to represent Ring at this event. Um, I want to start by expressing the Ring team's gratitude for the invitation to attend. Um, and we've all learned so much from the Urban League in the discussions that we've had with you all. We are all inspired by the Urban League's mission to promote neighborhood collaborations and support for the well-being of local seniors, among other community members living in Lake, Porter, and Laporte counties. I'm particularly honored to meet the team today and hope to learn more about the critical programs provided by the Urban League, including education, diversity and inclusion awareness, and the block hubs that drive outreach in the community. The Urban League of Northwest Indiana has long been a pillar in the community and for almost 52 years have provided comprehensive services in the areas of education, health, wellness, and civic leadership. The team at Ring also strives to build safer, more connected communities, and we are inspired by the Urban League's commitment to keep community ties strong. I know Senator Melton is also a strong supporter of your work and programs that advocate for local senior communities and community safety. At Ring, we strive to bring peace of mind to all members of our communities. And we hope that this donation helps make a difference to seniors living throughout Northwest Indiana. Which is why today, there was a hint earlier on, but today I'm thrilled to announce that we're donating 1,000 Ring video doorbells, including free installation with the Ring Protect Basic subscription at no cost. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> These will go directly to interested senior residents in neighborhoods identified by the Urban League. Residents who are eligible and interested can receive a donated device via an application page on Ring's website uh, that is active today. OnTech Smart Services, who you will probably have already had the experience with, uh, will demonstrate the various features of the device during installation, uh, along with additional resources for participating seniors. Um, but that's not all. Uh, I work for Amazon, so I, I feel like I'm obligated to deliver something to okay. you. <laughs> so, okay. So you can stand up and help me unfold this. Did you all know this? 
Oh my goodness, look at this. So because we want to further advance the Urban League's mission and ability to support local <coughs> seniors, we're making a $20,000 donation to the organization. We're so proud to support the Urban League of Northwest Indiana and look forward to learning more from you and your team. Thank you again for allowing us to partner with you and support your meaningful work and programs. Oh my. <laughs> excited and I'm thankful and grateful for um, the contribution of the 1,000 rings that we're receiving and definitely the financial donation because that's what's needed for us to continue our work here at the affiliate. And now without further ado, I would like to uh, hear a message from uh, Senator Eddie Melton. He couldn't be here today because he's down in Indianapolis working on our behalf but he sent a video, and we're going to... Hello, I'm State Senator Eddie Melton. I hate that I can't make it today. Hello, I'm State Senator Eddie Melton. I hate that I can't make it today. But I wanted to share a few words in this collaboration. One of my top priorities as a legislator is to support initiatives that promote the well-being of my community. That's why I appreciate the Urban League of Northwest Indiana's commitment to the community and my opportunity to support this initiative with RING who are donating 1,000 ring video doorbells to senior residents of Northwest Indiana and being administered by the Urban League. For more than 75 years, the Urban League of Northwest Indiana's mission has actively worked to serve underrepresented and vulnerable communities. This initiative will further that mission, and I'm happy for the peace of mind this will bring to the seniors who receive this donation, and also to the loved ones who want to ensure their older families and friends are safe. I'm also happy that Ring is not only donating their Ring video doorbells, but also installation services as well as a Ring protection plan subscription for the life of the device. Oh, hello, I'm State Senator Eddie Melton. I hate that I can't make it today, but I wanted to share a few words in this collaboration. We want to thank Senator uh, Eddie Melton for his um, congratulatory remarks uh, towards us. Like I said, he is a strong supporter of Urban League, as well as um, Congressman Frank Mervan, who couldn't be here, but he was also sending a representative. So I'm just so glad that I received some text messages and some calls that they are in uh, support of what we're about to do. I just can't thank Ring enough, you know, for the donation and then this financial donation. I'm looking at my financial officer right now and I'm like, look how God works. It's just truly a blessing and I have to give God um, the glory for that. Amen. Amen. Today we have heard about the opportunities and the initiatives and the outstanding work that we do here. Although I'm the president and CEO, I don't do this alone. I have a full staff of people uh, that works with me um, and I'm just so glad that I have a team of Deb Black who works with the education uh, component. I have uh, Stella Simpson who's our administrator over our office who works with me in my right hand and my left hand. Tracina Jones who handles the VITA program, the tax program. Uh, Ola Morris who's the coordinator of the block clubs and Elisa Spencer who's the neighborhood specialist who goes out and just uh, hits the ground running. And our assistant with the Federation of Black Clubs is definitely uh, Deborah Jefferson. I definitely want to acknowledge her. Um, Dr. Beverly Lewis, she has been with us and, sh and I call her on the spot and she runs wherever I need her to go. And Veronica has been with us for almost, what, two years now, Veronica? And I thank her so much and I saw Penny Penelope Love come in, and she's with the Aetna Revitalization Manor Program. Hopefully I got that close, but she's close enough. But she's also a runner with troops on the ground that's going to help us get this information out. And on, again, on behalf of the Urban League, it's Board of Directors, where our board chair is Yolanda Davis, our vice chair is Chancellor Gonzalez. I want to thank each and every one of you 
Now you have work to do. You have to register. In order to get your ring device, you need to register. And the information is HTTPS on your computer or your device, www.communityprograms.ring.com forward slash NW Indiana. Now I know that's a whole lot, so don't worry. We're going to send it out in the atmosphere. It's going to be on Facebook. Call our office. It's going to be on our website. And remember, anyone that's 55 and older can get this in Lake Porter and Laporte County. And on behalf of the Urban League, thank you, Kyle, for coming. Thank all the ring team for supporting us. And I'm just excited. <laughs> Bye.